I've had enough science. Now it's time for some real education. On December 31st, 1979, the single panel comic called The Far Side debuted. The comic was created by Gary Larson and it ran all the way until January 1st, 1995, when Larson retired as a cartoonist. The comic features surrealistic humor, which is often based on everything from uncomfortable social situations to logical fallacies, and from impending bizarre disasters to some often twisted proverbs. But then there are some comics featuring humor in the search for meaning in life. The Far Side found itself in more than 1,900 daily newspapers having to be translated into 17 languages. And there are also 23 compilation books. And the reruns of The Far Side are still carried in many newspapers. And as you know, The Far Side is one of the most famous cartoon strips in all of history, but it's not a strip. It is actually one panel. To be able to do for over 20 years a comic strip that is one panel, it's a lot harder when you don't have those four boxes or the big Sunday formats. It takes a certain kind of genius to make that kind of a point every day in one panel, and Gary Larson is that twisted genius. Take a look at our first comic. We're limiting ourselves in, in, in today's show just to some of his monster panels, which are really neat uh, and quite interesting. The thing about Larson is, is his unique take on everything. So here here you have some taloned monster that apparently fell off of a building, King Kongish, and uh, you have the whole news team there, you've got all the, the, the looky-loos, and you got one old farmer with his suspenders and his shotgun, right? Well, he said, I seen all the commotion, and that there monster destroying half the city and whatnot, I says to myself, hell, why don't somebody shoot that varmint? And that's the point. You got King Kong fly, climbing up the tree. Somebody take a gun and kill it. <laughs> we got all these, all the J, all the Hollywood, the, the Halloween movies, all the Jason movies. Everybody's running away, and, and they're all running in different directions. There are thirty of you campers. Why don't you gang up and kill Jason? Right here, you have it. Right, the, the farmer with the common sense takes a shotgun and kills the varmint monster. Take a look at the next one. Typical young kid terrified in his bedroom, monsters under the bed kind of stuff. There he is, this little kid, I, I don't blame him, he's a chubby little kid, right? If you were a monster under the bed, chubby little kid like that, there he is hiding under his blanket and he's cleverly got a little air breathing device sticking out from under the blanket. The monster snorkel allows your child to breathe comfortably without exposing vulnerable parts to an attack. Again, it's that odd take on everything that really is quite cute. Next, two monsters under the bed this time, a tandem, and there they are whispering to each other while the little kid thinks he hears the rustling whisper. I've got it again, Larry. An eerie feeling like there's something on the top of the bed. I mean, who would have thought to make a, a, a cartoon panel about monsters? Well, you're considering the monster's point of view. Very, very enlightened. And how about this one? Got some campers out in a wood clearing. Thank God, says one of them, those blasted crickets have finally stopped. We can get some sleep. And what do you think it was that made the crickets stop cricketing? Stribulating, I believe is the word. Notice the tree on the left? That's why. When the big creature showed up, the crickets were smart enough to, to run and hide, but not the weenie toasting campers who are about to be weenies themselves. Here's a nice color version there. You've got a young boy sitting there, obviously causing his dad, who's trying to read the newspaper, a lot of aggravation, making a lot of noise. Dad reaches over and clicks a switch, which is attached to a filament that goes all the way into the closet and makes a ball knock against the closet door to simulate a monster in the closet. Uh-oh, Donnie. Sounds like the monster in the basement has heard you crying again. Let's be real quiet for the next hour and hope it goes away. Gary Larson, we applaud your twisted imagination. It is the perfect compliment to the out-of-control world we live in today.